If you are seeing this error that says Docker Desktop requires a newer WSL kernel version, let's see how we can fix this error. Now there are two ways. We will try with the easier one. Now if the easier one works for you, that's fine. Otherwise, we will go ahead and manually update WSL. So first, open your command prompt and type cmd. And now you need to type WSL update. Now, in my case, I have the recent version, so it is saying most recent version of Windows Subsystem for Linux is installed. In your case, if you get an error that says WSL is not installed or virtualization is off, something like that, what you need to do is press Windows and type turn Windows feature on or off, and you will see this option. Now, click on this and scroll down and make sure your virtual machine platform is checked, Windows hypervisor platform is checked, and your Windows Subsystem for Linux is checked. So these three, virtual machine, Windows hypervisor, and Windows subsystem for Linux should be checked. In my case, all three are checked. So check all these three and click OK. And your PC will enable those features. And after those features are enabled, restart your computer, and then try WSL update again. OK, now, if the update is complete, try running your Docker, and it should work. Now, you need to check. If you want to check how you can see your WSL version, just type WSL double dash version and this will list WSL version for docker you need WSL 2 or more so it should work uh, with any version that is above 2 so if this worked it's all good you can just close the video but if it did not work what you need to do is you need to update or install WSL manually for that go to your browser and go to this URL I'll have this URL in the description you can just copy it from there now go down and we have already enabled this, so you don't need to do this. And to make, you need to make sure you have this systems matching up. Otherwise, WSL2 will not be installed. All right, so you need to have x64 systems that is greater than version this, or ARM64 greater than version this. Now scroll down, and we have already enabled this also. You don't need to do this also. Now you just need to download the Linux kernel update package. So now click on this to download the latest kernel version. This is downloading. Let's see what the next steps are. And let we will install this and then we will just set the default version to two. Let the download finish. Now click on open file. Click next. And your Linux system installation is complete. Now click finish. And now Go to your Windows and type CMD and set WSL set default version 2. Now your WSL is set to uh, default version is set to 2. Now you can run Docker and not face that issue. So as you can see, my Docker is starting. And this is how you can fix that issue. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments below.